welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today, I tell you what, <laughs> I tell you what, man. Bees are just not all what they're cracked up to be. Uh, I mean, they are a little bit of a force to be reckoned with. Anyways, l let's get on with today's video. I, I hope you guys are ready. So as you can see, my beehives are gone. I did go ahead and clear them out. Today, we're going to set up some automation for it, and it is going to take a little bit of work to get this set up. A couple of trips to the nether, I think. Or at least one trip, maybe. I think we should be fine. But ultimately, I want to be able to get this done. What is this guy holding? That looks like a squid arm or something. Oh, a plague leech. Oh, oh, <laughs> come on. At, at least it removes plague for you. Um, anyways, I think that probably came from the plague doctor that was over here. Uh, so yeah, I need to get this uh, sort of patched up. Uh, because what I'm going to set up today is going to be a little bit of, uh, like I said, automation for that. So, what I'm going to need is four scrapers. I'm going to need some dispensers, redstone clock. I went ahead and upgraded these to tier two. So, this will provide us with 24 bees worth of storage. And it also gives a hive time modification. I don't know what that means. Maybe if they spend less time in the hive potentially. I'm, I'm not quite sure. We're going to probably figure that out over time. Um, but as you can see, yeah, there's no bees in there. You know, nothing we have to worry about. Uh, these are all good. I did go ahead and store all of my bees. Um, and I would also potentially like to maybe breed some more bees um, of a particular type, maybe. I'm thinking more along the lines of more of the, the gunpowder bees are probably some good ones to have bred up. Uh, I would do redstone bees, but I don't I don't know how useful that's going to be to do that. Also, this setup doesn't have to be very large. You're going to notice this is going to be kind of small. Um, and if you notice, I do have a hive hopper here. I did test this out. Yes, this does work for vanilla um, bees. So if you do want to collect honeycombs and honey from vanilla bees, this does it without power. You place it underneath the hive. You don't need to smoke it or anything and it automatically collects for you. Now it will collect from these, but it only gives you vanilla honeycombs. It will not give you um, any other type of honeycomb and it only gives you like one or two per block and, get, and it, it gives you a little bit of honey. Um, so I do recommend going about the way that I'm about to do it and using scrapers for this. Uh, so I have a redstone clock. This comes from Cyclic. It's gonna be super helpful for this. Um, I almost need to break this up and like set this so um, we can make the path later. I'm, I don't know how many of these I want to eventually set up because this setup is not the smallest in the world. <laughs> um, it's not going to be like super, super compact. Maybe later on we can figure out a way to make it more compact. Um, I mean, it all depends on what you consider compact, I guess. Uh, so I think I might be able to get away with like this in the center. Let me remove all this. So let's just say we have this here, and this needs to power some dispensers. So if I have dispensers set up like this, I could technically have beehives right here in these four spots, but I do run the risk of them potentially, um, like the bees spawning to the side and getting stuck in these blocks and potentially dying. I don't know if that's a an issue in this version, uh, but it might be. And you can hear it running right now. Um, so what we need to do is put scoops in here for this to work. Um, and then I need to just basically put uh, some fires underneath here. So I, I you, th you would think this would, uh, this would work. This wouldn't be uh, the way to go. But let's take a look at campfires. Um, because like in real life, right? Campfires technically like kind of sedate bees. And so if you left a fire underneath, they just wouldn't want to work. Uh, but in, in Minecraft, it's a little bit different. They will work. I am going to place this two blocks down. And the reason I want to do that is so that way it prevents the fire from like showing up in the air. Because um, I don't want to see the flames. Um, but if I put it down here, as long as I think it's within five blocks underneath, it will work. Um, and I don't even think it matters if there's a block nearby it or not. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and place these here. And as you can see, you only see slight smoke particles coming out uh, from underneath there. Now this should work, right? Uh, these are going to produce honeycombs, but we don't have a great way of picking them up just yet. 
That is going to be why we need to go to the nether. But there's something we can do before we do that. So I should be able to make something called a obsidian skull. And this is going to help us out. This is from Forbidden Arcanus. And yes, it requires some bone blocks. I think we might have enough... Um, not bone. We might have enough obsidian for this. I might have to go farm a little bit more obsidian in order to get this. But let's just take a look. Oh, it does also require these obsidian ingots. And to get that, it is um, obsidian. Like so. Surrounded by this. All we got to do is cook that up for a minute. Now that I have this obsidian skull, I think we can throw this inside of a slot somewhere. Maybe this works in a side slot. If not, it works definitely in our inventory here. And yes, you can see we are granted fire resistance with that inner inventory. Man, our armor is not looking so hot. I might actually want to, to fix this a little. Um, Let's see. Iron armor. Let's go ahead and make a fresh pair of boots and stuff. I don't want to be in here and my stuff just break on me. As we're going to be going to the fortress, I need to kill some blazes. That is what I'm going to be after. Um, So, boots, uh, chest piece. That's the last bit. Bam. All right, we're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll. Throw off this old armor set. Put on the new. Oh, man, I'm looking fresh. Looking, looking fresh in my golden helmet. Yes. So I'm back in the nether, and I did bring some stuff just in case uh, I find any bees. I think there was a bee that was kind of roaming around over here. Oh, oh here it is. So, yeah, I do want st to... I'm still after the crystal bee. That, that bee is... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to... Oh, unless it's flying up here. Nope, not going to make it. Okay, so over here. We need to find some blaze. I need to destroy some blaze. Um, I went ahead and just repaired some of my tools. I now have a torch launcher. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that sound. Okay, I'm already <laughs> I'm already on edge. Um, I need to get in here. This will work. And there we go. And hopefully not get lost. That is going to be the, the hard part. Um... Let's see, uh, can I put a waypoint and, and put, put it to find my way out here? Um, way out. Except, there we go. Perfect. Um, so I also want to kind of loot some chests and see what all we can find here. Like, ooh, like this. Like, I'll take definitely some of that. And, uh, I'll call it good there. But yeah, I want to find out what's in these, uh, these loot chests. Maybe there's some good stuff. Usually, ooh, nether brick chest here? That's fancy looking. And diamonds, yes. Wither ribs, yes. I will take all of that. And hopefully put this stuff to good use. Uh, I think there's, yeah, definitely a blaze spawner right up here. Like literally right, right here actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go after this. I think the fire resistant should help me with this. Like tremendously. Oh my gosh, that is super powerful. We already have a blaze rod. Like, that's really all I came here for. But I figured while I'm here, might as well loot this and see what else I can find. Maybe there's some uh, some other good stuff here. Oh, these are like in the perfect spot. They're like right next to each other. I'm going to have to call this Nether Fortress a bust. This one is just not that great. Like, there's there's really nothing here. Uh, that that that's, I guarantee that's the only chest that exists in this entire fortress like that's all there was um very unfortunate uh, i did however encounter oh whoa, whoa, whoa that's the guy i it's crazy when i'm i'm more scared of this guy than i am of anything else and look he can fit through oh wait oh is he stuck <gasps> he's stuck okay good yeah those guys are horrifying by the way they can straight up bounce. They, look how much health they have. These are worse than wither skeletons. 100 times over. But you can make pretty decent farms out of them. That is pretty nice. You can get a lot of pork. And uh, they're pigs that I, I don't mind killing. <laughs> I, I typically don't like to kill pigs in Minecraft, but that pig... I don't mind killing at all. So down there I see a bee, and this is going to <laughs> end up getting us into some scary bees. Potentially, or some scary areas I should say. This is the area where gas tend to spawn. Um, how do I get down there? That is a good question. Hmm. I need to figure out the 
best strategy for getting down to this position. You know, I thought this couldn't get any scarier sounding, but, uh... Oh boy. Um... This is not good. <laughs> they have bows, uh, with flaming on them. Okay. Alright, so I'm after bees. I'm after bees along with everything else. This, this, this biome right here, the Soul Sand Valley, this one is pretty scary, but I did see some bees over here, so... Oh, there's a bee. Not the one I wanted, but that's a bee. Come here, bee. Thank you. Now, there was another bee that was down over here. It looked a lot more interesting, because it was it was white, which may... which might be a crystal bee, which is one I'm after that it says it spawns in the nether, so... That's kind of what I'm after. I have to go down there? I think I have to go down there. Oh, I just saw it. I just, I, I just seen the bee. It just flew down there. Okay. Maybe I can hop down here. Get a lucky fall. There we go, get some damage. Awesome, okay. Yeah, I forgot skeletons kind of spawn here. But I didn't expect wither skeletons to be here. There we go. Whew. All right, where'd that bee go? I'm, I'm, I'm literally tracking this bee now. And there's, oh man, the worst sounds. The sounds you, oh, it's over there. There's one way over there. Come on. I want to make it over here without this guy killing me. Oh, right here, right here. It's a soul bee, which is actually a really good bee, by the way. It, uh, that one will give me soul. Or, or gas tears. Yeah, and I, I, I see it. I see it up in the distance. I am just as horrified. Oh, but I am ready to go. If this guy shoots at me, I am ready to go. Don't even think about it. There's a hive here. But I don't think these hives really matter. Well, at least I've been to every vanilla <laughs> nether biome. The hot tourist destination. I just got that advancement. Super, super nice. Is this... That's blackstone. I really do like the texture of blackstone and the basalt. They both, like, basalt... Yeah, it's a questionable texture, but it does have its uses, believe me. It does look really nice in certain situations. I've just got to get out of here. This is a horrible, like, area right here. Super, super bad, and easy to get lost in this place. Oh, this one's ready to battle. Okay. Am I ready to battle, though? First, first try. Oh! First try! <laughs> oh, get wrecked. Hey, this one's after me as well. Can we get it? Nope. Uh, I failed on that one. Totally failed. But I did get the first try. Oh, man. On that one. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, hey, just noticed right here by our portal, I was looking at the bastion here, and I didn't realize there's like, there's a chest right here. Um. Okay. We have some useful stuff that I could probably use, like this and gold. Um, what else would I want to get rid of? Like, I don't, I mean, I guess I have my bag. <laughs> I totally forgot I had a backpack. Oh, uh, we can just take everything. Might as well. So the reason I needed to go to the nether was for a hopper. Not just a standard hopper, but this hopper, an ender hopper. Um, and I needed blaze powder for that. So, of course, that only makes sense. Let's go ahead and make this ender hopper. And we need some sort of chest to throw this on. And, I mean, we can use a vanilla chest, that's going to be just fine, uh, for right now. Eventually, I want to set this up a little bit different. Um, but I think, like, just by placing this down and doing this, we can click on this. I thought there was a way to see the, the, the border, but it is five blocks out. And I think it's it's uh, maybe five blocks by five blocks. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to, as you can see, break, but... I think it should easily be able to to cover uh, multiples of these. So even if I place the chest like right here in the middle. So it, so let's say later on I have multiples of these. Um, it can go five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Technically, if I put it here, it should be able to cover. But I want to put it right here, I think. And if I place this on here. Now, once I get bees set up and I start placing bees around this area... Which I kind of want to change this up still a little bit. There's a rat just going all over the place. Um, I want to kind of change where these flowers are um, to make it a little bit more efficient. 
Um, I don't want them all spread out. I kind of want the flowers to be as close to this as possible. Maybe even less grass. I mean, that, that should work. And uh, let's see, you'll do some more of these little flowers, like flower here, flower here, here and here, kind of keeping it close by. So they have these flowers around them. Um, these need to be moved. I think these should be fine. Uh, wow, did they? Oh, those get picked up by this. I was like, where did they go? Where did they go? So yeah, maybe uh, moving like that. That should work. Just getting some flowers kind of separated. Yeah, situated around here. Like this. Perfect. And that should allow the bees to have a place where they can just sort of hang out. Now, I want to test this if I throw this item here. Okay, I was making sure the hopper actually picked it up, which it did. So that should be able to pick up the honeycombs. Um, and they should be able to go in and out as needed. Um, and that should work, hopefully. Putting all the flowers nearby, so hopefully they stick around here a bit more. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sleep, and then we're going to get the bees set up. So before I get some bees laid down, I am just trying to breed certain bees together. It's so like the RGB requires like six dye. The redstone bee that we made last episode requires six redstone. These combined together equal a lapis bee. And like we can breed these like right away. So like if I want to make more lapis bees, I just pick these up and then we can just start making more lapis bees. Um, so I can make redstone and lapis bees. Like what do lapis bees like generate? Like what can we combine with them? So an ender bee, but how do we get an ender bee? So an ender bee is probably something we find in the end. At the moment, I believe the end is broken. Uh, I, uh, all the mods team reached out to me on Twitter and did let me know that. Um, so I'm going to try to avoid as much as possible going to the end. Um, but yeah, stuff like this, we might have to wait on. Now, I, do, I still don't know about crystal bees. Like, we just haven't found any. A lot of these stuff require crystal bees. Uh, like, diamond requires an ender bee. That's how you make a diamond bee. Um, but there are other bees that I would also like to get my hands on. Slimy bee. That's one that we probably find. Yes, it's one we find. Ooh, it uh, uses slime pearls, which is actually pretty pretty rare to get. That's, that's not an easy thing to get. Wait a minute. Was that a crystal bee that I picked up in the nether? Because it's in my inventory. So that had to have been what I picked up. I thought I picked up... <gasps> that was a crystal bee. So I guess that's sort of the dimension or the biome that you would find it in. We do have a crystal bee. And a crystal bee means we can actually make an iron bee. Or really, almost all of these material bees. So we need quartz and a rocky bee... Um, and we need to feed the rocky bee a specific type of material. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Okay, so with a mason bee and a crystal bee, we can get gold. And then with a rocky bee with... Okay, so a rocky bee with like any type of stone will get us an iron bee. Um, and then a tin bee. Is it a chance? 25% chance. So it can give us any of these different metal type bees. Um, so long as we are mixing it with a rocky bee. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, but the mason is 100% chance. That's awesome. I did not... Okay, I'm glad we got that. Oh man, that was the bee that I wanted. That was the bee that I wanted. Yes, this is what we picked up. I thought it said something else. I was misreading. But we did grab that. <laughs> Awesome. So I guess up, up first is going to be the mason bee. Um, and I think it requires uh, the clay. So if I get this bee out and this bee out, which is the mason one with the mason with some clay. I think it was four clay. I didn't see any hearts. Um, gold. Let's see. They're kind of stuck in here, so I'm not too worried about them. Oh, it's five clay. Clay. So as soon as we give it one more piece of clay, there we go. It's happy. And this takes four and it's happy. And we should get a gold bee. Look at that. 
little gold resource bee. Okay, and then of course pick these back up and they should be ready to go again. Now, the crystal bee is about to put in the work because we're gonna mix that with a rocky bee and hope that we get what we want. So it's gonna take the crystal till we see hearts, which is four. And then this bee is gonna take four and then they're gonna go <laughs> generate any random bee. This is an aluminum bee. Now question is, can we just go ahead and keep doing this without picking them up? Oh, wow. So they're, they're ready to go. And they're gonna have a 25% chance, yeah. There's a copper bee, I think. Yep, copper, a little bit of cooper. So I'm, I'm getting into the rabbit hole of bees. I, I can't help myself. Um, a lapis bee and an iron bee mixed together will get us an osmium bee. Definitely want that, especially if we're gonna dive into mechanism. A mason bee, an iron bee, like this takes us to a whole nother level. An iron bee, an iron bee, we can easily duplicate iron bees and uh, have a, a massive iron farm, I guess. Um, an RGB, which just requires dye, by the way, can make a lead bee. So if we need more lead, Invar bees gonna require nickel and a nickel bee is a warm bee, which I don't know. I guess a warm bee is one that you just find. So we'd have to find a warm bee, probably in a desert biome. Hope, I mean, I would assume that's probably where it would be. Um, yeah, as far as like mixing stuff up, I'm gonna try and mix a few more things like the iron bee, for example. I wanna uh, definitely probably get an osmium bee. Like, that seems like reasonable to want that. And let's see, that's gonna be a lapis uh, right here. And if we take a look at our bees, all we need is this bright blue one. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna, this is gonna take me down a massive rabbit hole and I'm gonna probably need a lot more sand. So since I have this bee area set up, I think I want to change kind of my concept around this. Um, I do want access to this chest. So to do that, what I might set up is a little bit of a setup like this, like so, so I can access the chest so bees can't get out. Um, and I want bees to be able to access these flowers. Uh, so I'm gonna place these right up next to it because that's all they really need. But 24 bees, that's gonna be kind of compact here. So I hope I don't have any bees that die, but if I do, I do have a way of getting more bees, right? So what I plan on doing is expanding this out here, just like so. And I want this to be, let's see, one, two, three, out, just like this. And this is gonna become the uh, bee sanctuary. <laughs> uh, this is where I'm gonna place all the bees. Now on top, uh, cause I don't want them roaming everywhere. I don't want them to leave. Uh, because it gets kind of dangerous. So, like, I have the potential of losing them. Like they could potentially lose their placement in the hive. And I just, I just don't, I'm, I'm afraid that that's going to be what would happen. Um, and I don't want that to happen. All right, so how am I gonna do this? This needs to go up, doesn't it? Like so. And I still need to place this. I want them to be able to, you know, still go up. But like I said, I want a little bit of space. So I'm using this uh, rainbow eucalyptus, which looks really, really cool, by the way. I don't know if eucalyptus is something that bees hate. Uh, I know it's not gonna affect it in game, but that would be absolutely hilarious if like eucalyptus was something that like bees just absolutely hated. Um, <laughs> but it should be fine. It should totally be fine. All right, we're gonna cap this off with this, just like so. And I'm gonna extend it all the way. I would use my building gadgets, but I don't, I don't think, you know what? We could probably use, I don't have them on me. Yeah, it's not gonna be a big deal to just hand place all these. So I think our bee sanctuary is set up. So I have a little doorway over here um, so I can access it very simply and a lot of glass. Now I would love some like different glass maybe later on we'll set that up and I'm hoping this functions properly and I hope they all fit because there's gonna be 20, so we have 6, 12, it's 24 bees that we can fit in here. And then right here I have my 24 bee variants that I wanna use. Uh, of course, there are some bees that I don't have in here, but I think overall this should function perfectly. Like this should, this should work. 
I hope. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I guess get all the bees and we're going to go in here and we're going to try and get each bee in a slot. And hopefully maintain that slot. Let's go ahead and open this. Um, so I'm going to place them right here. So this is going to be B1, 2, 3, 4. Maybe they're just going to go wherever they want to go. 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> There's so many bees. I'm pretty sure I did count out 24, though. So all I gotta do is place them all in here. And just wish for the best, I guess? Hopefully none of them get trapped and... All goes well. Gosh, this is gonna be a mess of bees, though. But I, I think this is gonna be a great way to generate resources. Like, we're gonna definitely have a supplementary resource gen right here. That is going to work out fantastically. Yeah, I think over time they'll just figure out where they want to to go. Perfect. So we have all the bees in here. Close that. And just let them do their thing inside their sanctuary. Right? And they're protected. I'm protected. They're protected. No one should get angry. All of our drops should end up inside here. Over time, every click you'll hear... Um, I might have to increase this timer. It all depends. But every click you hear there harvests these things. So we should be good. So I did want to mention this one thing before we sort of end today's video. Um, I did notice this. I'm going to fix this in between episodes. But these bees can't actually produce unless they have the required thing underneath uh, that they can go to. So each one of these bees needs an entire block of its material inside here in order for it to produce. Um, which means I don't need so many flowers as much as I need blocks of materials. Then we'll be able to actually utilize all these bees. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up as many of these as possible. Because, yeah, I have a little bit of work to do um, in order to get the blocks in here. So as you can see, all the bees now have there are different types associated here and I should be now getting uh, many more combs as you can see of all different kinds okay perfect um, there's still some materials that I don't have yet like uh, bronze and other like mixed metals like I don't have those alloys yet uh, but we will get them eventually we will um, and aluminum I don't have in here but I just went ahead and got this uh, you know going with this proof of concept I think this works out great but anyways I wanted to give a huge shout out to one of my patreons and that is going to go to Don Lamond. Thank you so much for uh, your amazing support over on the Patreon. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon yourself, of course, you can find that linked down in the description below. Along with everything else down in the description below, you can find links to my Discord, my Twitter, and also my Twitch. If you guys would like to check that out, I'd really appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? You haven't clicked it? We're almost to 400,000 subscribers. Mind-boggling. That is a huge number and I couldn't I couldn't get to that number without you guys clicking the subscribe button um, absolutely free to do so so uh, I recommend doing it and uh, if you haven't already liked this video and you enjoyed be sure to do that as well guys I hope you enjoyed I'll see you in the next episode and of course as always thanks for watching